Alright, what's going on guys? It's Valrico here and today I'm going to be showing you the most efficient and effective way to use the artillery truck in Battlefield 1. So, what does the artillery truck do and how should you use it? Well, the simple question is this. If you're playing Conquest, you're going to want to use the artillery truck to knock down and tear down enemy buildings that are controlled as you can see right here I'm looking to the right or to, excuse me, to the left and you see people running towards that B flag building on this map Suez in particular the B flag building is definitely key is it's on the flag so if you, whoever controls the B flag building controls the B flag in general and most people run into the B flag building because it has the most cover from you know enemy infantry and the artillery truck to a degree until you knock down the walls it's just a good spot to cap the flag it's probably the best spot on this game to cap capture B flag now as you can see right now I made my way down to the left side of the map which is closest to the ocean uh, if you're spawning I think I oh no I'm the British yeah I'm the British this this round so it would be the left side if you spawn as the British the British uh, Empire so I'm going to the left side of the map to cut off enemy infantry from trying to get back in that B flag building because I don't want them to have control of the B flag building which they get control of for a little moment but we end up getting it back and uh, I stay on this side of the map for the most part throughout the game now here's the thing with the artillery truck it's a one person vehicle you cannot spawn in it with another one of your friends like uh, you know the land ship or the heavy tank it is a one person vehicle just like the light tank but the thing that's different between this and the light tank is this vehicle ha to me in my opinion has more weapons to kill people with but it also has its downfalls number one it's slow so when you get into position you need to stay in position for as long as you possibly can number two it has less armor than the light tank it has way less armor than the light tank not Nah, not really way less. Probably about one AT rocket less. Probably 20 damage less to 25 damage less than the light tank's armor. And number three, the machine gun mount on the front of the vehicle can only be shot out the front. Now, I'm not sure about the the, the cannon on the top because I've never had anybody run behind me in the, the artillery truck. And part of the reason why is because I don't like enemies behind me, especially with the artillery truck because it's has terrible mobility like I've said earlier so I keep people in front of me and now I think with the artillery cannon I think you can look behind you or at least to the side of you I don't think directly behind you but I know for a fact the light machine gun that hangs out the front of the, uh, the artillery truck you cannot shoot out the rear so now the question becomes how should you use the artillery truck well I'm gonna explain it to you you're going to want to do what I'm doing right now. You're going to want to stay on B flag and just provide artillery fire. You're not going to get a lot of kills. You know, you don't need to ride up on people. You need to stay at a distance and keep the enemy on their heels. You need to keep them on their toes, keep them nervous. Um, every time they get into a building, all of a sudden they feel like the building is crumbling around them. They're getting frustrated because they cannot get off a of C flag. And just what you're supposed to do is kill any of the stragglers you don't use it like the light tank where you can you know you can go into C flag right now if you're the light tank and not have to worry about getting blown up but with the artillery truck I think I think if I'm not mistaken the artillery truck I know for a fact artillery truck can be destroyed by a tank in one shot but I don't I think it only takes two AT rockets uh, probably two or three AT rockets to destroy the artillery truck and everybody spawns with two or three artillery rockets now see what I did right here was a mistake I was on my flag and then so you see this is what this is what you don't do this is why you I was explaining just a minute ago why you don't go into the city you see I have bad mobility I cannot see around and there's enemies all around me see I cannot get that guy because he, he's, he's too far out of my line of sight with the MG you know what I'm saying so you want to be very careful not to drive into cities. You want to stay outside of the cities, to be honest. And you just want to continuously bombard the enemy flag. Now, I fast forward a little bit in the video. Because I wanted to show you this particular moment where I got actually taken out of the artillery truck. 
he throws a grenade there's a few of them behind me and as you can see I'm in the city where I was earlier and I can't turn around and shoot him it's just not possible the tank or excuse me the the, the artillery truck is just too uh, bulky and immobile to be able to turn around and get the enemy so you know the enemy easily was able to take me out and that was a big mistake on my part as a matter of fact this was my first time ever driving the artillery truck and it, it it's so effective that I got so much footage just driving in it that uh, I was able to use it for this video that I'm using uh, you know making today which is how to use the artillery truck and that was a big mistake on my part which was go into the middle of the city you never do that with the artillery truck because like I said you can't shoot behind you it's immobile and it's very slow and bulky but when you get in a position like I am right here you can lay down some tremendous cover fire you can get a lot of kills and you can clip a lot of people coming from B flag as you can see I'm shooting towards B flag and I will end up taking this flag back but right now we, it's, we're not in a big rush because we're obviously up by 200 tickets so I'm just you know driving up a little bit closer getting in position laying down some fire taking out some more infantry we got another guy right here trying to run around I think I kill him with the artillery up oh, there's another guy there's three or four guys right here so you know that's just pretty much the basics on how to use the artillery truck take out the infantry and eliminate the enemy's team's ability to build up their numbers particularly on that B flag building because if they get six or seven guys in there from different squads half the team can spawn right there and launch an offensive to take back B flag and possibly take A flag so that's just pretty much it that's all I have to say in this video stay safe stay smart back down as you can see I'm doing right now if you're being assaulted regroup repair and eliminate the enemy and with that being said I hope this video helped you like and subscribe all that shit youtube.com slash Valrico and I'm out of this bitch Peace.